Welcome back to the Boilermaker Breakdown. I'm your host, Matthew Stout. Today, we're on location at the Schwartz Tennis Center for the men's match against Indiana. The Boilermakers dropped the doubles point, but rallied to take five of six singles matches and clinched the 5-2 win over the Hoosiers. Mark Kovacs provided the clincher when he won in three sets at number three singles. This came after Purdue hit the road last weekend to take down both Iowa and Nebraska. The Boilermakers are now 14-3 on the season, 6-1 in conference play. That's already the most conference wins in a single season since 2003. Today's match against Indiana started a very busy week for the Boilermakers. The 36th ranked Purdue men's tennis team will also welcome number 16 Penn State and top ranked Ohio State to the Sports Tennis Center later this week. Now let's take a look at what else is going on in Purdue athletics. The women's tennis team is also on a tear right now after sweeping Iowa and Nebraska at home last weekend. The 37th ranked Boilermakers are now 9-7 overall and 5-2 and in conference play with two weeks left until the Big Ten Championships. The softball team took two of three against Indiana over the weekend. The Boilermakers won both games Saturday by 4-1 finals thanks to home runs by Daniel Fletcher and Tori Kyoto. The Hoosiers salvaged the series by taking Sunday's contest 5-2. Purdue then welcomed Ball State for a midweek game Wednesday afternoon. The Boilermakers saw a 5-1 lead disappear thanks to the Cardinals taking advantage of the long ball. Purdue fell 6-5 after a solo home run in the top of the seventh inning. The Boilermakers are now 7-2 in conference play, 20-19-1 overall. The baseball team went 1-3 on the weekend. The Boilermakers dropped the first two games in the Penn State series before rallying on Sunday for a 4-0 win in Alexander Field. It was the first shutout of the year for the Old Golden Black. Purdue then welcomed 10th ranked Louisville to town on Tuesday. The Boilermakers fell in 10 to the Cardinals 3-1. The men's golf team finished 7th at the Augusta State Invitational, finishing ahead of three top 25 teams in the process. Senior Adam Shank finished tied for 12th individually. The women's golf team finished 13th at the Dallas Athletic Club Invitational, with Aurora Khan tying for 23rd individually. In the 2014 Spring Draft. <laughs> and the football team held its annual draft this week for Saturday Spring Game. Captains for the Golden Black team took turns Wednesday afternoon deciding who would play for whom. The draft took place in the team room at the Mollenkopf Athletic Center. Center Robert Kugler was the first overall draft pick. We'll have highlights from the spring game on next week's show. Now that we're all caught up, let's take a look at our Big Ten Medal of Honor winner in this week's Blast from the Past. In 2002, Travis Dorsch and Kelly Kamara won the Big Ten Medal of Honor. Dorsch was an All-American as both a punter and kicker his senior year, while also winning the Ray Guy Award as the nation's top punter. After several years of professional football, Dorsch earned his PhD in sports psychology and is currently an assistant professor at Utah State University. Kamara was Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year her senior season and after earning her degree from Purdue, went on to earn a master's from Auburn University and embark on a career in coaching. She is currently an assistant coach at the University of Albany. Two Medal of Honor winners who continue to make an impact in the academic and athletic world. That does it for this week's show. Don't forget to join us next week for the breakdown. Until then, boiler up. <laughs>